i thank the gentleman for yielding let there be no doubt americans are worried about the price of gasoline its recent spike has once again put us on notice but this bill that relieves regulation provides the wrong tools america knows we can do better we cannot afford to mindlessly give billions of dollars to big oil companies while they make record profits in the short term we must ensure that speculators and wall street quit playing games with the price of oil and finally we must provide motorists with fueling options at the pump it is unconscionable that we would give four billion dollars of taxpayer money to big oil companies this year alone while they are on track to make nearly a hundred billion dollars in profits in twenty eleven with prices this high does big oil really need even more money taxpayers know they don't and taxpayers are hit twice with taxes on gasoline once at the pump and once on tax day this must end we can help consumers at the pump by going after wall street speculators that drive up the cost of oil we can increase mileage standards and it's entirely reasonable that they could reach sixty miles per gallon by the year twenty twenty five and we can invest in fueling options so that consumers can choose the lowest alternative high gas prices are painful they are painful to american families to they're painful to seniors living on a fixed income and they're painful to small businesses and the big oil subsidies that accompany them are painful for our nation's economy as it recovers from the bush recession Let's end these big oil giveaways, some of the most profitable companies in the world, and provide drivers with alternatives, fueling options, better vehicles, and creating the clean energy jobs of the future. Again, I'd like to thank the gentleman for his leadership on this issue and for yielding. And, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back the gentleman from